So this is my Marlin 14 foot uh, deep D boat, uh, 20 inch transom. It's got a 15 horse uh, Mercury with a 20 inch shaft as well. Uh, got a transom saver for it as well. I uh, did a few modifications, putting guide bars on and things like that. Trailer's brand new as well. Um, gonna break in the motor uh, in the near future. Uh, I put the seat on myself, uh, but it's just on a board covered in carpet. Um, I'll include the specs here if I can get a decent enough picture. Um, going to uh, take it out after I break it in onto the lake and uh, see what she can do as well. The hull of this boat is uh, all welded, uh, no rivets, and it should be robust enough for the rivers and lakes that are uh, close by to me. As you can see in the front of this boat, it has a, quite a nice little uh, step platform for getting on and off, and uh, that should make it a little bit more stable, uh, especially when I'm by myself. This boat was a gift from my wife. Uh, came with brand new life jackets, brand new paddles, brand new ropes, and uh, can't wait to try it out. So all I have to do now is fill up this tank of gas, find a nice new river or stream to explore, put in this engine and see how it runs. I guess I first have to apologize for the quality of this video and the sound. I'm taking this on an iPhone 11. My GoPro is presently, well, it's still in the store with the price tag on it. Uh, if this video works out, uh, I may uh, probably not get one and do the next one with the same camera. Uh, seems to be uh, all right. So I'm at Musro Lake in uh, northern Alberta. And I'm going to be trying out my new boat today. My boat is a 14-foot Marlin. It's a deep V, not a flat bottom. And uh, it's brand new, just bought it. The motor is a long shaft, 14 horsepower Merc. And uh, that's also brand new. Uh, although I did take it out and break in the motor as per the manufacturer's specifications. So that was quite uh, hard for me to do because I had to just lay off the throttle and take it easy. So this is the Musro Lake. This is the docks that haven't been put in yet because it's too early in the year. The uh, depths of this lake is approximately 62 feet in the deepest areas. Uh, most of it is about 30 to 39 feet. However, near the shores, it's uh, quite, uh, quite shallow. Uh, as you can see, it's about uh, couple of kilometers long and uh, probably about three or four kilometers wide and here's the marlin 14 foot so we're going to be trying this out today hopefully catching some fish as well uh, but mostly just to try it out see how it runs So, here I am at Musro Lake, northern Alberta. Uh, it's a pretty little lake. It's uh, not too big and not too small. It's just right. And I'm trolling here with a Canadian wiggler, seeing if I can catch some burbot or possibly a nice walleye. The 15 horse Merc is purring and uh, trolls perfectly, which is part of the reason why I bought a 15 Merc, was to be able to get where I need to go, but also to troll when I have to. Uh, it's a lot better than having a trolling motor as well. Uh, so we're just trolling along here. Boat slightly canted to the right, uh, due to the, my weight. But uh, it's got a lot of buoyancy still. Freeboard is uh, still got at least two feet of freeboard. It's uh, beautiful out here today. Kind of on and off windy and 
It's got some sun peeking through every now and then. And we're gonna see if we can catch us fish. And here's the work again. Now there's camping allowed here, but uh, that doesn't open until the 1st of May. So once again, this is the uh, 15 Merc on the 14 foot deep V Marlin. And we're gonna see if we can get her up on step here. Overall, I was very impressed with the uh, Marlin 14 foot uh, deep V. It was a very stable platform, was able to go through uh, three foot waves uh, without issue. Uh, it was very responsive, um, also very comfortable. Uh, the front of it has this nice platform on it, so getting on and off was uh, a breeze. I was also very impressed with the uh, Mercury 15 horse long shaft. It was very responsive, uh, got on plane uh, really quickly, uh, was great at trolling. Um, it's very light as well. I can uh, lift it myself even though it's a four stroke. This is a very quiet motor uh, and uh, its fuel usage was uh, very, very good. Uh, barely used uh, any gas at all. Even though I spent uh, close to three hours on the water, I still had uh, over a half a tank uh, left over. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to do anything. Um, it's just there. Uh, it is what it is. Thanks.